Hey everybody, Cindy A. Lewis here. Welcome to Live with Cindy. How are you today? Happy New Year. Woohoo! It's fun for the new year to be here and all kinds of new opportunities and goals and um, new things to try and new inspirations. How exciting. Hey Terry Lynn. Got a good group conversation going already, I see. Uh, Denise had asked about a family history uh, junk journal, and I haven't ever done one, but um, I think you you could use whatever you'd like for your pages. Uh, for your ephemera, uh, you might check with Amazon. Um, you can get that usually in a couple days. Um, you know, I don't know if you're going for vintage or if you're going for uh, what kind of look you want for it. Um, but I think you could probably take any kind of uh, theme that you're wanting to go for and, and put it together. Um, you c There's all kinds of ideas depending on if you're doing it more like a family tree and dividing up the pages by families or if you're going to do pictures. Um, and then some memories on each page. I think you could do that. Um, if, if you all live in a certain area, you could do something along that line. Uh, so I hope that you get it done. Um, you're going to have to really be uh, dedicated to get it done in a week because it does take several hours, as you guys know. <laughs> Hi, Timeless Creations. Welcome. Hi, Ashley. Welcome. Looks like we have a couple new. Okay, it's... Oh, she told me how to say it. It's two... Uh, oh, I can't remember. I have to go look it up. Um, it was like two on... Two on... <laughs> anyway, hello. Happy uh, New Year, everybody. Yeah, putting in real pictures. Yeah, I think that would be great. Hi, Rochelle. Rochelle is starting her junk journal right here. We're going to start one um, on my channel soon. I'm trying to decide uh, kind of what theme to go with. I don't have a particular person in mind to give it to, so that's why I'm kind of up in the air with it. But I do have three... Um, three binders already done that we did in another video so the actual um the actual uh, journal itself is already done just the signatures need to be done so covering the journal is you know done let's see what else we got going on here hi melanie oh no you don't feel good i'm sorry i'm glad you could jump on Hi, Elaine. I have a 2 in 62. Okay, now I've got it. 2 in 62. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it now. Okay. Um, Ashley, maybe do it. Yeah, you could do it scrapbook style for sure. Hi, Amber. That is so awesome. Hi, Caroline. Hi, Natty. Natty. Natty in Canada. I was trying to say Canada and Nettie at the same time. So, <laughs> hi, Patty and Alice. Hi, everybody. So excited you're here. Uh-oh, what did I do with my... Um, just a second. Uh, I need my little bucket for later. I didn't get that all ready. Oh, my goodness. Oh, are you guys ready for a new year? New opportunities, new do-overs. Yeah, my uh, my kids' church, they are ready for do-overs. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I know. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. 2 and 62. I won't forget now. I've got it. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Denise. We were chatting earlier. She's making faux vellum, aren't you, Denise? It's pretty cool. It's kind of like faux rice paper in a way. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I know. Could you hear me? I was trying to say Canada and Nettie at the same time, and it just kind of all 
blended together. Hi, Laura. Good to see you. <laughs> Been decluttering today, Ashley. Oh, that's awesome. Well, you know, it seems like that's the time of the year whenever um, you kind of get ready to get rid of Christmas or pack it up. Not get rid of it, but move it out and start kind of cleaning up. Hi, Trish. Good to see you. Oh, it's good to see everybody. So does anybody make New Year's resolutions on here? I'm curious if anyone really does that much anymore. Or... Hi, Debbie. You want some do-overs? <laughs> yes. You got a crocodile. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, my goodness. You got a lot of goodies. Oh, Rochelle, you just got a lot of goodies for Christmas. Oh, that's awesome. How fun. All kinds of goodies. Hi, Jamie. Everybody deserves a do-over, right? I think so. My husband bought me them. Yes, yes. I'm, I've got it here and I've got it here. I think I need another, like table up here so that I don't have to turn my head down. No resolutions. Yes, Ashley, you are. <laughs> well, I just want to be uh, healthy. I want to laugh more, which I love to laugh anyway. And um, I don't know what else. It's just whatever, whatever I feel being led to do by God. I want to do that and just enjoy meeting new people and um, building my channel and providing more inspiration. Get more organized. Yes. Working on your journal. That's awesome. I do a look back at my on my year and that's good. You never keep them. <laughs> Declutter. Yeah, declutter is good. I mean, if you're not using it, you might as well, you know, donate it or something. Uh, no resolution. I just got a handmade tray for my father. Oh, that's awesome, Nettie. Aw, what a precious gift. I probably actually have Christmas down in a way. You do, Denise. I have a hard time parting with Christmas. <laughs> It takes me a little while to get everything up because I put decorations all over everywhere. I just, all I have is lights back there and you'll see in an upcoming video what I'm going to do there. But, um, I just love it and I miss it so much when we have to take everything down. So, I kind of linger a little bit. Oh, Spellbinder's die cut machine for Christmas. That's awesome, Jamie. <laughs> You never keep them. Ah, well, um, thank you guys so much for supporting me last year. And um, the month of December was amazing. It was a little bit tiring trying to keep up with everything, I have to admit. But um, I had a blast counting down to Christmas. And uh, I appreciate all of you guys um, watching and being a part of all that. It was really fun, and uh, it was it was a great way to count down to Christmas, and it seemed like people enjoyed watching the challenge of creating something Christmassy from things that ne weren't necessarily, and I tried to do different types of projects so they weren't all the same. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, tonight... I thought it would be fun to do something for your journals or for a scrapbook page or uh, you could make uh, these little envelopes as small as you want. So I'm going to show you um, uh, this one uh, is like uh, from a two inch square and then these are from four inch squares which I think that that's going to be a good size for you to see me make it and it's really so simple you'll be going oh my gosh yeah why didn't I think of that or maybe you already have and you're just on here just to hang out with us but um thank you for supporting my channel happy new year I look forward to more and more inspirations with you and uh thanks for um 
if you're a part of my Patreon membership, thank you for being a part of that. And if you are, um, uh, yeah. Okay. See, Caroline, I'm thinking about doing that till next weekend. And so, and then, um, also thank you so much for a uh, super chat, super stickers, all those. So thank you. I really do appreciate it. So, um, what we're going to do, I have a four inch square here. Um, uh, and I hope that the, um, camera is good. Let's see. There we go. It's a little bit better. And maybe I could zoom in some. There we go. All right. So I'm going to try to keep it on. Um, these are really cute. And this is double-sided paper. So that adds to it because you can see when you make it double-sided, the inside has, you know, it's kind of nice. But you don't have to use cardstock or anything. Matter of fact, I might suggest uh, using a little bit lighter weight, not a heavy-duty cardstock, just because it's... Um, if it's real thick, you know, you, you might, it might be easier just if it's a thinner. Anyway, so this is a four by four, you can see uh, with my graph paper here. And so what you want to do is find the center of your paper. And really and truly, you just need, um, need to cut your paper into a square. And then you just want to find the center. So I've got a ruler here. And since it's a four inch square, I'm just going to take a pencil and I'm just going to mark where two inches is. And I know you can't see that too good, but um, I'm just marking where two inches is going across. And then up and down, I'm just going to mark where two inches is. And then we'll kind of see where they dissect. So right here would be the center. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me show you. So that's my center. I Oh, there. That's my center of my paper. I don't want to fold it to get the center because I don't want that crease in my envelope. And then the next thing that you do is you take your corners. You're going to take one corner and fold it into that center. Just like that. Now, I already went over the edges of this with a pink um, ink. And then I'm going to switch it and go to the center with this corner. And then just fold that in. Then you're going to end up with this step right here. Okay. Then you're going to take the bottom. And what I try to do is I fold it up a little bit, like a quarter or an eighth of an inch more, maybe a quarter. And I just fold it up a little bit. And I'll show you. Not exactly the same. So you can see how my fold has a little bit more Hey, hey, Joan. All right, so you can see I already have my envelope here. So what I want to do now is I know where my fold's going to be, and I'm going to take some double stick tape. Make sure I'm still on camera here. And this is just quarter inch. You could do um, a thinner if you have like eighth inch would probably be fine. I wouldn't use liquid glue just because you have to get it really precisely in there, but you could. Uh, I just won't because I might not be precise enough. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to put a little bit on here. I'm not going to have any heavy duty anything in this little envelope. I was just going to say, why not fold it? <laughs> yeah, you just fold it. Yep. And so I'm just going to take the, the double stick tape off. And you know, on camera, of course, it doesn't ever want to come off. So especially when you're doing live. All right. All right. So then here we are. And we're just going to fold this up. And then just take your point and fold it in like that. And then you have your envelope. There you go. And then that makes your really cute little envelope to go in your uh, journals you know you can slide a little something in there let me just show have if you have some tiny tags you can just slide those in there and put that on your page and it's really cool and if you want you know to add that color um, to the inside you could just you know do that just go around your edges a little more and I chose pink just because I'm in the pink purple mood right now. So, hi Leslie, 
Happy 2023. Yep. And that's all it is. That's as simple as it is. You just start with a square. So you can see the difference if you um, use that. Now this one, I went around the edge with a, um, let me see, pull it down. Went around the edge with like a, a the vintage photo paper, the stress ink that I have. So you can see the difference, whatever. And it's the same, same uh, papers that I got. So I can do it one more time. Hi, Sam. Who else is on a missing? You're starting a junk journal too. I love I love junk journals. It's just so fun. Hi, Amber. I love you too. <laughs> oh, hi, Sam. Oh, I see. It's Sam saying on Hambers. Hi, Sam. Love you, girl. Oh, I'm trying to read and everything. Okay, so again, one more time. We'll just do this one more time. And I hope you can see and it's not off too much. Okay. So measure it. This is a four inch. So two inches is going to be my middle. Measure it horizontally. And then uh, you can turn it or whatever at two. So however you can get to that middle. So you can see here's, here is where my middle is right here. And I just erased the other dot. It's just a guide anyways. Okay, you don't see it. Yes, you can make your faux vellum into envelopes as well. And you could also make your faux rice paper into envelopes. Um, I don't I don't know how, I mean, how easy to manipulate they would be in a small, like mini, but what ink did I use? This is a Spectrum Noir. Uh, Harmony inks. This is water reactive and it's called fuchsia. And then the other one that I used was the Tim Holtz distressed ink vintage photo. Yeah. Okay. So again, you fold your, you got your diagonal corners. You're going to fold those in to your center. We're just going to do this one more time so that you can see. And I kind of overlap a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. I kind of overlap them a little bit. Okay. So then I'm going to fold this up. Uh, I don't know. That's not quite a quarter. I, I'd say that's about, that's about a quarter of an inch. And then what I do, once I've done that fold, I take my double stick tape. And you just need enough to hold it together so that you have the envelope. I mean, you don't need a ton. And and I think, personally, I think um, having the paper that's double-sided just adds to it because, you know, you have the decoration on the inside end because you're going to probably seal it in. Where did I get this ink? Um, this ink... I've purchased, it's um, like a Crafter's Companion ink. You can get it um, off HSN too. And they sell those these inks. They're really nice. Gonna go watch the video you sent me. Oh, you guys are chatting, okay. Yeah. You want to win? Hi, Sam. I know. Isn't that so fun to win? Did you have a good Christmas, Sam? <laughs> I know. It's fun to win. Somebody, uh, one of the cards, as a matter of fact, I, I shared a second video. I don't know if you guys saw it. I thought I had posted the first set of Christmas cards that I got and apparently I recorded it and didn't post it so it posted late but I did post it and thank you guys so much for your cards. So once you put your double stick tape on then you just stick down that bottom and fold in that little corner, that point and then you have your little envelope. Now if you want to do that I like, sometimes I like um, using some ink to go around the edges and I and it maybe I don't want it to necessarily have to be like a brown 
which is my favorite, but this paper just seemed like it needed a little, a little something, something pink, <laughs> pinky purple. What does it say, Amber? <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. So anyway, um, that's how you make them. I mean, it, it's that easy. And it just depending on the size of the square that you choose is what your little mini envelope's going to look like. So pretty cool, right? It's super easy. It's so easy. I almost thought, well, I shouldn't even do this in our video because, you know, it'll be done so quick. But it's a really fun project. And just, I mean, you could do it on any size square. But um, anyway, what do you guys think? <laughs> yeah. So a lot of fun. Um, these are fun to make. I can make one more. I'll just do one more and then maybe I'll give it away um, in the packet tonight. Whenever I draw, I'll put it in. I'll put these in with the winners. So we're at two inches again. Um, we're going to measure at two inches again. So you can see my square, my center is right here. You guys like pinks and purple colors? <laughs> Thank you, Amber. Or Sam, I know it's Sam. Love the envelopes, yes, the color is so pretty. All right, fold to the center, fold to the center, and then fold up. Super, super easy. All right, then double stick tape. Just enough to hold your envelope together. If you are going to make it bigger and use it for mailing something, then just make sure you do apply enough tape to keep it held together. Make sure you're where you can see. Oh, got that off a little bit. Hold on a second. I'm trying to hurry. I don't know why you guys are hanging out with me anyways. All right. Trying to read. Purple is your favorite, I know. And the pink is so pretty. Pink and purple. Hi, Susan. Pink and purple are very pretty. Hi, Laura. You like it? Pink is your favorite? I, I grew up with crushed velvet purple curtains, if that tells you anything. <laughs> All right. So, there we go. Another envelope. I mean, it's just so easy. All right, let's put a little pink on this one, too. Um, what theme are you doing with your junk journal you're making, um, Rochelle? And somebody else said they started one, too. Who else said they? What's your theme? All right, so there is that one, too. So super simple, super easy, extra fun. And, of course, you can make it any, any theme, colors, whatever your papers are. You're not limited. All right, so I think I'll just put these in the packets with the fun stuff because what's in the packets are more papers for me for today's prize and then a couple of tags are in there, some fun tags. All right, so I'll just add an envelope to these and then I don't know, I'll put the pink. I think you guys like the pink. Okay, so yes, so we have pink prizes. So that's the prizes tonight and some papers and a couple of tags and then an envelope I made tonight. So there you go. Um, so you ready to play a game? We're just gonna jump into that. It doesn't have a theme, just a mod podge of everything. Oh, well that's okay. Just whatever you like. I actually have turquoise walls in my room. You actually do. <laughs> uh, pink and purple. All right, so let's see. We got Terry Lynn. We got a good group on tonight and have to maybe help me make sure I get um, everybody's name. So if you're new, um, uh, what I do is we play a game and I put everybody's um name in our uh, trusty bucket here and then at the end of the game I draw uh, 
three different winners. So that's what I do, Denise, I love it. And we just have good time. And Sam, I am gonna have Sam in here. These are stuck together, I think. Sam and Amber. Oh, what I was saying earlier is somebody wrote um, that winning, pull out your washi tape, game is always fun. Um, I, somebody said that it was like winning the lottery or something because you just have, it's just so, um, see Joan, got Judy already, Joan, okay, Rochelle. So help me out if you haven't commented in a bit. Um, make sure that you do so I can see your name. Leslie G. Um, I got Rochelle. Got Denise. I got Trish. Green. Got Nettie. Anyway, so that's what we do. We kind of play old school here. So Patty and Alice. And Ashley, P Hater, Roses and Music Notes. Oh, that'll be pretty. Are you going to use lace? <laughs> Jamie, come be. Traveler's Notebooks. Yep. Yeah, I love it. Elaine. Hi, Elaine, my friend. Oh, I was going to ask you, Elaine, did you get a new place yet? You that, See, that's awesome. That's what they're for. Okay, who else am I missing? Let's see, 29. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 15, 16, 17, 18. I'm missing several. Okay, two and 62. Don't want to miss that. Debbie Walker, I got your package this week. Yay! Yay, everybody's getting their packages. Janice, yeah, I was a little running late, and I was really concerned about them getting there with, um, with all the... I got you, Sam. With all the... Um, different um, mail going, you know, out, billions of packages and all that. And I was just like, ah, okay, Laura, next. Hey, Laura, are you getting any of our weather out there? We had some kind of yucky thunderstorms. Wasn't sure if it was going to keep me from, um, let's see, Caroline, from being on tonight, but it seems like it's passed pretty much. Okay, am I missing anyone? I think, I think we're pretty good. Hey, <laughs> yi, yi, yi. No birthdays today, right? I'm not going to have to sing happy birthday, am I? <laughs> okay, I think, uh, unless there's somebody else, I'm trying to check both. Oh, hi, Deborah. How are you? Okay, so what we do um, is we're about to play a game, and I put all the names, so hands, hands, hands of praise, um, Deborah H., hands of praise, awesome, and so then we do a drawing at the end. Okay, yeah, yeah, so we had some thunderstorms yeah okay i think i've got everybody so i'm just gonna put the names in the bucket and we're gonna play a game yay welcome deborah where are you from or what state are you in yeah so the craft was at the beginning we did a little tiny envelopes um you can rewind if you would like to and it'll post um, what we did tonight. So it'd be cool to watch. It's very quick and easy. Um, but, uh, now it's time for games because we do crafts and games. So it's fun. Everybody seems to like the games portion anyway. Oh, Melanie, I forgot to put you in, baby. I'll put you in. And I don't mean you're a baby. I'm just lovingly 
saying friend. <laughs> All right, Melanie, there you go. You're in there too. California, oh, way out in California. Well, welcome, welcome. We're glad you're here. I haven't seen Anjali or, or um, Rita on today. They're out there. Awesome. Well, we're glad you're on with us. It's really awesome. I've had a little friend from Belgium on lately. Super sweet. I'm trying to read Dutch, so I have to learn that. All right, today is Crafty Scramble. So what you have to do is I'm going to put the word here. It's the scrambled letters, and you uh, just try to guess the word in the chat, okay? And that's really all you have to do. And I think this group has got to be the fastest. Oh, Indiana. Hi, Susan from Indiana. That's awesome. Uh, anyway, so just put the word you think it is in the chat. Your birthday was Wednesday, Ashley. Okay, well, I guess I have to sing happy birthday to Ashley. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ashley. Happy birthday to you and many more. <laughs> uh, I always end up doing that. Oh, you got a new puppy. Oh, that's awesome. You named her Holly Noel. She's 16 weeks. A hairless chihuahua. Oh, my goodness. Do you have to put a sweater on her to keep her warm? <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, ready. Number one, this is your first. I feel like it's I feel like it's kind of catty corn. Can you see it okay? I might get scoot the camera over a little bit. I just want you to be able to see it good. Let me scoot it over. Okay, let's try this. And let's take me off the screen. There we go. Okay, maybe. There we go. Can you see that better? All right. So. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys are super fast. My goodness, you guys got it before I even got the camera straightened up. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Look how fast you guys are. All right. It is journal. J-O-U-R-N-A-L. Journal. Very good. You guys, fast group here. All right. Number two. This one might throw you off a little bit. We'll see. Here you go. What word do you think that is? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so this new word is something you do. <clears throat> it's not something you make. <laughs> oh, Patty, look at you guys. That was too easy. I'm going to start doing phrases. <laughs> yeah, very good. Yes, it is. Sometimes feel like I'm more of a collector than a crafter. <laughs> You're welcome, Ashley. I'm sure that that made your day. <laughs> it is shopping. Very good, everyone. The word is shopping. You have a big lag, Denise. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep. All right, here's the third one. It looks like tacos. Now, this is something I have to use a lot. Do you think you can figure it out? Hmm. And shopping is a fun thing, but this is not shopping. 
<clears throat> so you guys are very fast oh my goodness how do you get it so fast I mean I it's like I barely put it on the screen and you get it excellent it is postage and that is something that I have to use a lot because I mail you guys things. Yes, postage is the word. All right. I know you're going to get this one, but let's see how long it takes you. Good job, Ashley. All right. I wish we had, you know, like Jeopardy music, but I want to have to pay for it, so. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I do have a memory jar uh, video posting soon. By tomorrow. And then I have a Dollar Tree haul and a Tuesday morning haul. <gasps> So much. Yes, you guys are right. Didn't take you very long at all. The word is envelope or envelope, however you say it. And the last word, you can do it. You like my fancy writing? I didn't even do it on my computer. I just wrote it. <laughs> but it's fun still. All right. See if you can figure it out. All right, I still see. I have it. it I can see that it hasn't changed yet. Carla, hey, I'm getting in on the game at the end. That's awesome. Staying uh, warm in Pennsylvania. Look at you guys go. So fast. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, Denise. I don't know what the lags are. I really don't. It's just different location, I guess. Broadband service. I don't know. All right. It is papers. Papers. You guys did excellent. All right. So... These are the prizes. They all have basically the same amount of materials and similar. So you'll get an envelope that I made, um, a tag, three papers to make your own mini envelopes, and um, two tags. So you got two tags, two little mini tags, papers, and envelope that I made tonight. So they each have the same in them. Uh, yeah, I know. It's very strange, isn't it? Warm. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to draw. Let me, um, let's see. How can I do this where you can see? Oh, I am zoomed in. Let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. All right. So I've got my three prizes here. Let's see who wins. That one's trying to jump ship here. Let's see. Let's pick one from the bottom. I did mix them all up, so let's see. This one is Patty. Congratulations, Patty. Congratulations. So Patty wins one. Say pink for pink. There we go. And okay, so I'm gonna reach down in the bottom here after mixing up again. And the winner is. Two and 62. All right. And I said it right because I spaced it. <laughs> so what I need you to do, two and 62, is send me your address, at prizes at cindyalewis.com, and I will send you your prize. I just need your address. Send it out. Okay. Here we go. And the last one, let me get it all mixed up. I do need a bigger bowl. I think I do. I just have, you know, like felt connected to this blue, blue one. Oh, okay. All right. One more. Here we go. This one is the winner, and it is Jamie Cumby. Jamie, congratulations. So, congratulations to Patty. 
62 and 62 and to Jamie for winning tonight. And I'm so excited for you. Thank you guys so much for joining tonight. It was a little bit shorter, sometimes a little bit longer. I don't know. Oh, uh, you know, it just is one of those things. Um, I wish I didn't have to put my hand up there, but I don't know any other way to flip the screen. So there you go. But um, I hope that you have a great rest of your week. I hope that you are inspired and uh, watch for more videos. Congratulations again, Patty2016.